In this video, we're going to look at how to remove the Dell Audio drivers from a Dell machine. This is the advanced technique for removing sound enhancements from a Dell computer. If you have not seen the previous video on how to turn off sound enhancements on a Dell machine, please stop this video and go back and watch that one. This video is only useful if you have tried the steps in the previous video and have not had any success. If you try all of those steps and your Edison is still not programming, you then need to come back to this video and go through these steps to completely remove Dell Audio from your machine and drop back to generic Windows drivers. So if you have watched that previous video, you should have ended up here sitting in Dell Audio with your speaker enhancements still turned on even though you tried to turn them off. Now, to get rid of these, as I mentioned just then, we are going to completely uninstall Dell Audio from this machine. So the easiest way to do this is we're going to back out of Dell Audio. We're gonna come back to our control panel. I'm gonna head back to control panel home, which is in the top left-hand corner here. This time we're not gonna view by category, we're gonna view by large icons and head to the device manager. So in the device manager, you'll get this nice little pop-up and you want to head on down to sound, video and game controllers. In here, you'll see uh, display audio, real tech audio, and then anything else you have set up. And in our case, we want to go into real tech audio, right click that and go update driver software. Now it's gonna ask you if you wanna automatically search for updates or browse the computer. You want to browse the computer and then say, let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Now in here, you can see high definition audio device. This is the generic Windows uh, device or audio driver for any audio device. And then you have this Realtek audio. Now Realtek audio is actually the thing that is sneaking these Dell audio uh, drivers onto your machine. So we want to go over to here and select this high definition audio device and say next. This will give you a warning and you just click through that. And then it will sit here and install those drivers and it will say Windows 6 has successfully updated the driver software for your machine. And that is that done. Now you should go into here and you should see high definition audio device and you won't see that Realtek device anywhere there, which is good. We don't want that in there. So now if we close back out of the device manager, go back to the control panel in categories, head back to hardware and sound. You should see that when I try and open Dell Audio, nothing happens. I can't actually get this to open. It doesn't do anything. That is because it is now uninstalled and it is not having an effect on the sound enhancements on this machine. So now if we go up to sound as we did all the way back at the start and we go into the high definition audio device and go properties, we actually have the enhancements tab and we can click disable all sound enhancements and that now has all of the sound enhancements for this machine completely and totally disabled. Uh, there is one final thing that we need to do here and that is to make sure that high definition audio is the only thing that ever runs with this set of speakers. So I also should actually set that as default because that is the audio jack on the machine. And now we're going to make sure that this is the only thing that ever actually stays here. So to do that, we are going to go into uh, computer, into your C drive, and then into program files. And in there, you should find Realtek as a folder. So this is gonna have Realtek audio and it's gonna have a bunch of stuff in here. So this is those Realtek drivers that we just uninstalled. But what we want to do is come back out to the program files right click on this Realtek, go into properties, and then go into security. Basically what we're doing here is making sure that this Realtek folder can't then reinstall itself and reinsert itself over top of those Dell audio drivers, uh, over top of those Windows drivers that we just put in. So now we go into this security tab, as I mentioned, go to system, and then we need to go edit. So in here, we want to go into system and we want to deny all of the um, permissions for this and then hit okay. Uh, so we're denying permissions and that is exactly what we wanna do. And then we're going to close back out of here and you should see that it is now denying all of those permissions. So that means that the system can no longer actually uh, do anything with this and it means that they, the system can't access this folder anymore 
and it will not be able to reinstall those drivers. So there you go, that is what you need to do to completely remove the Dell drivers, the Dell audio drivers from your machine and have Edison working properly.